Obviously, Terry doesn't want me to talk to you, or she don't want to confront this, but I don't want to confront you. I'm just saying, I can't live like this. I think you're way off base, and I think that's horrible what you did today. Explain it to me how. That's what I want to hear. First of all, you're an officer of the law. Okay. And there's a wreck. Three miles from my school, and you didn't go. My job and my contract with the sheriff's office is to be here. If the accident happened out in front of the school, that would be completely different. I don't agree. But out and about there, that's their jurisdiction. That's not mine. And again, as I stated out there, me showing up on the scene afterwards is just more people in the way. Every fucking sloppy dick first responder was on their way there, and here at our school standing around talking to the superintendent. Actually, when the call came through, I was finishing up bus duty. So So why didn't you sprint? Thinking that might be a student. I'm, I'm contracted to so be here until a certain a student, time. When you knew it was a student, you went to your office. You didn't go. So I, if you're contracted, I why didn't you go? I didn't know it was a student until I got to my office. A terrible driver. I told her so. My point is, why didn't you go? Okay. Why didn't you go? Hang on. Why didn't you go? Because it's not my, that's not my place. You, the student's not, because you, the you, highway is not my place. So you think you're going to fucking protect us when an intruder comes in our building? You're going to run the other way. I can understand you're upset right now, and you can it's go ahead kid. and say all that you want. Don't question my integrity as an officer. Do you understand that? Don't go that. We're we gonna we'll get, to, get ticked off, and finally get some fire in your ass. No, get some because fire in your ass. We're gonna do. I'm get not, some fire in your ass. It's not gonna do any good for me to sit here and look like an idiot trying to insult you back. You call me an idiot. I said making you me look me like an idiot. You call me an idiot. Trying to insult you, call me you back. An idiot. You call me an idiot. No, but I'm gonna look like an idiot myself if I try to insult you back. You should call me an idiot. No, I'm not. Because I care about kids, and you're like, oh, she's a bad driver. And I told you the same thing out there. If that was my kid, I'd say the same thing about him. You fucking say that about my kid. You're a fucking officer of the law, and people are running towards the fire, and you stayed in your office. Actually, you stayed in the superintendent's office. That's all you do. All right. When yeah, I went right. to my office, I checked so to I, see the so time. So I was for a meeting. She said, no, maybe we'll never have a meeting. So that's the problem. We don't have meetings to make anything better. We run away from it. We give you a schedule to do something, you say no. We actually do this, you say no. You got fucking sensors down at the elementary turned upside down. That's bullshit. They should be down. When they were down, as they complained all last year, the kids kept knocking them off and the you door would unlock. You walk around my school and fucking the, check doors. Door's not locked, but you're going to have sensors upside down. Bullshit. The reason that they're turned up is you're because... You're on the, your dick, man. You're on your dick. Are you going to let me finish a nope. sentence or are you going to nope. keep interrupting? I'm done. Okay, that's fine. You have your purview, I have mine. Yep. But we all know. Again, you, you have your opinion towards, on You didn't run towards the fire. And as I said multiple times. Off to the law. Didn't run towards the fire. Okay. I can understand what you, what you said. Huh? I had plans to be here originally because I knew it was senior night. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable, Chris. Unbelievable. Then I asked you, you said, let's fucking go. You said, I went because you told me. Oh, so now you're going to do something I tell you I did. You and when you I turned around, I grabbed do. my computer. I, you I went back up there, why, and you were nowhere to be found. You, why am I telling you what to do? Why am I telling you to go? You I shouldn't be. That's just it. Exactly. I don't work for you. I work for the sheriff's office. Exactly. I'm contracted to be here. Exactly. I'm telling you to go check on a, a rec scene, and you go because I told you to. Doesn't that sound kind of shitty? No, because of your attitude is why I was going. You were getting upset. You were because getting belligerent. One of our kid, would you quit using big words like I'm being belligerent? You had a kid on the highway. You knew who it was, and you didn't go. When I found out is when I told you, and I was in my office at that you point because I was logged into my computer looking through the times to see if anybody was running names. You had a fucking police radio. I'm when they're busy Brown. on a call like that, I'm not going to eat up the bandwidth by doing that. Of course, of course, of course. I'm calling Brian Bullock. She's on the scene. Who is it? Coming through the barricade. Tell your boys I'm coming. He goes, Deacon, left side flashers, come on. And in all actuality, that's kind of illegal. Give me a fucking ticket. Man. I'm just, I'm being honest. Like I said, Brian I didn't want to be down there to Brian, be out of the way. Brian told me it was illegal. Like, I don't fucking know that. It doesn't make it right, though. It doesn't make you right for you sitting on your ass in the fucking office when the kids hurt. And again, it's three, four miles down the highway. It's not at the school. Unbelievable that you're saying that to me out loud. I cannot believe you're saying that. I can't believe that's your defense. You're an officer of the law. I've already spoke, spoken with my boss on this, I don't and he backs me 100%. I don't give a fuck about your boss. I'm not your boss. Terry's not your boss. But you all guys are pals. You know what I'm talking about. We talk. That's it. 
I didn't say anything like that. Why don't you quit jumping to conclusions? Oh, I know what you meant, but... What I mean? That we're friends, that we get along well. We talk, that's it. Nobody likes me because I'm fucking passionate. And I ain't gonna change. You don't like my cussing, dude. I don't give a flying fuck. Because I got a kid on the highway. And I go down but there. Saying, you didn't help me. You didn't help me. I said, Brian, where's she at? Emma, stop. I told you she and was Emma, in the ambulance stop. when you were on the phone before you started cussing at me. You hung up like you do all the damn time. Every time you get I'm not going to sit there and away. listen to that. Nobody should have you to. Hung up and you run away. That's not professional. You were in Sarah's office. There was a wreck. You go to your office to, to get on the computer stuff. to see what times and stuff had been run. To, because sometimes they don't punch names into the system. You got a fucking police radio, man. And again, I'm not going to eat up bandwidth when they're you, trying to call stuff in. That is, God dang, man. That is unbelievably crazy what you're saying to me right now. It's not. It is, I've been it doing is. this job for over 10 years. Oh I understand God. how it works. I know. I'm not going to sit there and eat up time and eat up space. We got people running to the fire. You didn't run to the fire. That's all right. You and I know. We're, as long as we're safe with that, we're safe. You stay where you are. I have my integrity. That's all I know. If you want to sit there and just constantly berate me and do all that, have at it. But at the same time, record me or something. But at the same time, I'm not going to do the same to you because I'm better than that. I'm glad that you're better. I that you're better. No, I'm just saying I'm better than that. Yeah, you are. You are. You're a hell of a better man than I am. I didn't say that. I'm I saying I'm fire. being a better man. I ran man. the fire. And I will always run the fire. Always run the fire. That, again, that's your purview, but too know, many people, means. that's your perspective. Too many people at, a, at an accident is in the way. You wear a uniform. I'm in the way. You wear a uniform. That's the difference between me and you. You wear a uniform. You pass a test, you've done some kind of oath, and, and you let, told me... Let me, let me ask you this. If mm -hmm. it was, let's just say it was a non-student-involved accident... Mm -hmm. You should have gone. Why? And again... You're an officer of the law. No, it's not that. I'm here at the school. If they needed me, they would call me. The school was over. What are you doing anyway? I'm on till 4.15 with the school in case there's any issues with transportation or anything like that. Okay. You're not sure at all. Give us three miles away. Give us ten miles away. You're not sure at all. That's just my opinion. But if they need me, they call me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm just going to quickly tell you something. Yeah. You know who she is. Yeah. She really thinks a lot of you. She, she said you gave her a compliment yesterday, like you're her brothers, yeah. and she, she said, he puts the power in the country. <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't tell you the truth either. She really likes you. She's awesome. We love you. Thank you. She's a good girl. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. You're, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. And you know my other boy over there. Oh, yeah. I got him talked into playing baseball. It was actually his girlfriend, but I keep saying it's me. It's good for him. He, he plays since he was five. Then he good. goes to do football. He's going to go to baseball. Good. Yeah. There's less contact. He's going to play this week. <laughs> I was going to ask you, did Harold say if she's staying overnight or they let her come home? I heard x-ray in hands. Hand. That's all I know. And uh, Adrian hadn't heard anything yet either. So I, when I talked to him, he was waiting on, they haven't taken an x-ray yet. So I doubt she's going to be, she won't be in school tomorrow. Oh, no. I just didn't know if they would keep her for observation if they thought, you know, she could. I thought maybe she was concussed. She was kind of mm -hmm. blank looking in the eyes. Shock. Mm -hmm. She's lucky as shit. Very. I'm fucking pissed, man. I'm gonna change. I don't know if I'll ever change. I don't know if I'll ever. I don't know if I can. I don't know. Yeah, I know you don't give a shit. I'm okay with that. I'm just telling you. Damn, man. We have opportunities to help kids. Okay, so if something happens at two in the morning, are they gonna call me to go out to it? I don't know. You're an officer. Why wouldn't they? Why they wouldn't. wouldn't. Oh, okay. Because there's officers on. Okay. Just like the same as out there. There's other officers on the road. That's, I'm, I'm good with that if you are, because you've got integrity. I have my integrity. That's all I'm saying. I have okay. my integrity. Okay. I know I did my job properly. I know I did it correctly. Okay. Okay. We're good then. And I've been doing this over 10 years. I know that it was... I've been doing this over 30 years. I never missed a fucking wreck in my life. Well, here's the thing, though. Is it going to help me help them being out there and in the way? Is it going to help me help them showing up? The only reason I'm in the softball game, the only reason I go to any basketball game, it's not for the parents fighting it's for any kid who gets hurt and don't have a parent there. I want them to see a familiar face. All I want that kid to do could have been yours because they know you. A familiar face. That's all I was wanting. And then you're giving me, you're telling me, 
<coughs> Chris, let's go. Give me some lights. Let's go. You're wrong because you told me. You don't do a fucking thing. I don't tell you anything because it's not my place. But I'm telling you right now. I can't, I can't get over it. She needs to see a familiar face. And the first thing I did when I got on scene was checked on her. And she was fine. As I popped you my head in the ambulance. She's a bad driver? No. No, because you wouldn't say that to kids. Why the fuck say to me you know I'm passionate as hell? Why would you ever say that to any of our kids? Again, as I told you, I'd say it about my own kid. That does not make it right. Have you ever had a kid in a car wreck? No, I have. You show up, and all you try to do is make sure that they're breathing. I know you're tainted because you've seen it a thousand times. And your candy-ass fucking true tenant's gone. We need to go up that fucking office and have a meeting. Because one of us has got to go. So you might as well get your buddies to go and get rid of me. Because I ain't fucking putting up with this bullshit, your lazy ass. Not acting like I got some kind of terror, like I'm always picking on you or yelling at you and you're trying to be all God and mighty to me. I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm being professional. Have I treated you any other way than this ever before? Ever. You need to check on our kid. And I won't forget that. Have I ever treated you any other way than we're talking now? You're a professional ever. day. In How? my opinion. You didn't, go, you didn't do your job. I did my job. And I called. You didn't go and I, I told checked you on to. everything. You never, I've never <clears> told you anything. You didn't go to I told you. And you act like I'm telling you what to and do. And even then, I was telling myself I'm going to be in the way. Park as far away as possible. Well, I asked you to cover the cafeteria. I ain't doing that. That's where the bad guys are. All the kids are. That's where all the kids are. Why won't you do it? We gave you a schedule. And you said I ain't doing it. Because my job isn't up. school supervision. What? It's not kid supervision. What? My job is to walk around, and make sure the school is safe. It is not kid supervision. What? Oh my God! You're do, okay, do, do you put? You have these parents in these classrooms oh. that you can't leave alone with kids, oh right? They have to be in pairs minimum oh because they're not God. qualified, right? Yeah, I guess I don't know what you're talking about. I wish you had an office in the fucking elementary to leave us alone. Because every time I get mad, I'm not mad at you because you're fucking putting your hands on kids, or you're talking to them like they're dogs, or you're talking about they're bad drivers. Who have I talked to terribly this year? Put your hands on. No, you sure not. I was told by, by who? By the office staff there, Lynn and Sam standing right there. They're like, get her out of here. And I walked up. I said, ma'am, I need you to come out and walk with me. No, fudge you. All right, now I'm telling you, get up so and walk out with me. You just said, nobody's your boss, but when they tell you to do something, you're going to do it. So you're going to use that to as an excuse? And again, it's about safety no, in the school. You didn't go to a wreck. It could have been anybody. It could be. I still would not have went because it would have been in the way. <clears throat> I'm telling you, man, I, just, I cannot believe that you were. I, man, I can't get over it. I cannot believe we're not in Superintendent's office right now talking to three of us because. <laughs> not to be rude, you're not going to want to hear either one of us out. You've got it set in your head now the way you're thinking. Yes or no? Yeah. Exactly. So you, who do you want me to tell? Who, who's going to disagree with me? You're an officer of the law. You didn't go. Uh, and then, you knew, then you found out it was a student. You, you did your spoke, detective work because you, that's what you do, detective work. So you found out who it was, and you said, she's a bad driver. I spoke with the sheriff on it. And he, again, he backs me up on what my call on this. I don't give a fuck about the sheriff or you. I'm just telling you right now. We, who cares? That's one of your students. And again, I'm not going to get in the way. How can you get in the way? On a traffic accident like that, all those vehicles that were there, they were backed up. You have lights. You have authority. And heaven forbid somebody else isn't paying attention and then I hit them. Heaven forbid. I tell all your little clonies that I'm a fucking dick. I'm good with that. I tell you right now. I don't say anything to anybody. I, I tell my boss what he needs to know and that's it. Okay, that's fine. I don't have a boss. You do. You have several bosses. No, I really don't. You, you have a I'm whole an board island. and I'm a superintendent. You have, you have several bosses. I'm I have island. bosses. I'm on an island. On this one, I'm on an island. So you're going to tell me you, you don't report to anybody? I didn't say that, Chief. Just slow your roll. That's what you just said, though. I don't report to Tara because Tara lets me do my thing, and you guys are tired and fucking thieves. Duh. I'm sorry I've developed a good rapport and a friendship with people. You're wise, man. Beyond your years. Kids. Kids, kids, kids. Kids. Kids, kids, kids. <clears throat> we weren't invested in kids today. 
until Deacon told you to go. But I don't do what you tell me, you're not my boss. Truth be told, I have warned her for her driving before. Yeah. That's at uh, about 4.05 or 6, and that means that uh, we knew who it was, and you're still sitting in your office. No urgency whatsoever. Because I can look at the times and see that there's eight other units out there. Why would I need to go? Why wouldn't you go? Because I would be in the way. If it was something that was I urgent. Go? Why would I go? Because apparently you want to make sure that they're okay, even though that puts you in the way. Does one outweigh the other in your mind? It does in mine. And again, I... And everybody that was there that's supposed to be in charge like you, they said, right there, right there. How do I get in this office? Right here, so let me open the door for you. Everybody. Not you. You're talking to your buddies up there. I was staying out of the way. <laughs> oh, my God. The firefighters have a job there. The ambulance people have a job there. And law enforcement have a job there. Yeah, I don't get in their way. I'm going to go home now because I don't like to be condescended constantly when I know I did what was right. So, but you're not condescending me? I'm not. I'm oh. being professional. Oh, you are? Yes. You're not being sarcastic or condescending nope. to me? No, I'm being professional. I don't know all your big words, but I'll try to use some of them. Well, you said sarcastic, so obviously you understand that, but I'm not being well, sarcastic. I understand sarcastic. Okay. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm being professional. I'm being maybe curt, which would be short. Curt means short? Yes. I was going about 82 miles an hour down 19, if you want to give me a ticket. Turn the flashers on. My car's got to wobble about 75. Try to have a better night. <clears throat> Covert off. Stop recording.